free throw line. 75% yes. shooter. Yes. Big, big. Missed them both. Bill Bats got the rebound. And now Virginia can hold for the last shot. Holy cow. Do you believe that? Two missed free throws and they turned it over. Backcourt violation. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you, Mike, that time Jeff Lebo had to be credited with some great pressure, keeping Johnson away from the ball. But the other problem is Mel Kennedy, rather than putting it on, consequently, a technical was awarded and they lost the game because That's of that. Right. So North Carolina now in the driver's seat. That is the game clock ticking away. The shot clock, of course, is off. And they are just holding it for the last shot. Who would you want to take? Well, I tell you, they're going to try to get a shooter on the side of one of these big guys, Wolf and Reed, particularly Kenny Smith. It's Scott. One second to go. And he is not the guy that you want no. to shoot the ball. Length of the court. And Reed intercepts. Tries to fire it back the other way. And we definitely will go overtime here in the first semifinal. Seventy two seventy two each team will get those maybe gun shy they're gonna really look for J.R. Reed J.R. starting out high now against his passing game but you can bet he's gonna go to the opposite block look for the lob or try to get the ball in the post and there they are looking for him right now perfect call Landon he tried to pass it to Scott Williams who didn't see it and now Virginia with one minute to go in the ball game and a two-point lead has the advantage well, right now, with Mel Kennedy handling the ball out front, I'm really surprised that he didn't hold on to it a little longer. Force JR to come on outside and play. John Johnson being denied the ball by Lebo. Now he's got it. Shot clock at 22, game clock at 40. So Virginia cannot hold the ball. And here's the play, the, match, the matchup that you want. Right now, they just switch. Now you got a good one. You got John Johnson with J.R. Reed guarding him. There won't be any close guard. They're going to try and double him. Shot clock is at six. Johnson's got to do something with it. He's got Reed all over. Forced it. And it's short. North Carolina, with 18 seconds to go, has a chance to tie or win it. They're down by two. No timeout. Kenny Smith. Possession arrow will give it to North Carolina. And the Virginia bench really upset about that call. They wanted the foul. And that's sometimes you reap some benefits. Kenny Smith trying to inbound. Gets it in. Ranzino Smith. He stepped on the baseline. Virginia's basketball with seven seconds left. What a play. Big mistake by Virginia, though. Career high 23 yesterday has four this afternoon. But Drew Kennedy can't afford to throw the ball short. And he calls the timeout because he couldn't get it in. Best defensive players on the floor. Morgan inbounds to Johnson. Kenny Smith trying to beat it to it. He got it. Calls time. And only one second went off the clock. One second. In this league, if not the fastest, you got the clock in the bottom right hand corner here's the foot race it John start Johnson's when it's touched should be six should be down to about four seconds I believe and there is Dean Smith watching it well we don't know if that was really in, in um, I guess live type of fashion on that tape no, it was slow motion so we can't tell but it looked like about three seconds would have gone off the clock has yet another chance. Well, it's important right now for Virginia not to foul. Carolina's got to get a good shot. Virginia can't foul. Scott Williams shot. Oh, holy cow. It's funny, Dean Smith is asking where's the foul on Lebo, but I tell you what, he doesn't want them to turn that clock back. Absolutely unbelievable. That had to be a 15-foot jump hook. The jumper who shot an air ball that shows you what a little experience can do for you. Oh, this Lebo time was had, fouled. This time he had ice water in his veins. Lebo was fouled in front of the bench. 
Watch the coaches again on this last shot. And Lebo was definitely hacked on the arm. Carolina got a break there. Or did not get a break, but they got the break when Williams hit the jump hook. Despair turns to joy in about the blink of an eyelash. Well, you can almost hear Dean say, look, the foul. Oh, great shot. Exactly. So we will. Morgan we'll have gotten away with one. Johnson. He was definitely fouled. I thought so, too. Get it back to. At some point in time, I would hope that the Virginia defenders, if they're awake, will recognize that Kenny Smith shouldn't get the ball back. Richard Morgan lets Kenny Smith get it back, though. At this point in time, that's the man who you want to have in hand. There's a timeout to the Cavaliers, but there's only two seconds left. Clock is registered Ooh. one, and I know they called it when there were three. And Carolina may have gotten the ball free. That's the man you wanted to have his hands on the ball. He creates so many things. Terry's not very happy with the way the clock was, was run down. They caught a bad break, I think, on the, on the clock on two occasions. One, when they tried to inbound the ball and went to the court. Mel Kennedy tries the length of the court pass. Touched. Goes out of bounds. No time leaves the clock in North Carolina. All the pass and score in one second. It will not happen. North Carolina dodges another huge Cavalier bullet and wins in the semifinals of the tournament 84-82. The Tar Heels will advance to the final.